This map shows a place called Peru, but the story of the Moravian Church in Peru is not just a story about a place. It's a story about people, people who are responding to God's call in this place called Peru. For several years, a process of discernment and exploration took place. People got together to seek God's guidance, to identify gifts, resources, and assets for ministry, and to discover where God might be leading all of us together. Peruvian Moravians living in North America served as important connections for building relationships. They shared their faith as well as their experiences with the Moravian Church and what it means to them. On August 11, 2011, a group of leaders signed a covenant that formalized the beginning of the Peru-Moravian mission area. This team from Friedberg, Moravian, started building bridges by working with children and young people. North American youth and adults shared their gifts and talents and learned a lot from their Peruvian sisters and brothers. They all got a taste of what it means to belong to a great worldwide family. Some folks who were not able to be physically present with the team helped by donating items that were distributed. One young man from Friedberg shared his testimony in a worship service, and several folks were touched by the message and gave their lives to Christ. Then, of course, there was a love feast, Peruvian style. The team reached out to young people in the community and shared a message of faith, love, and hope in local schools. Meaningful moments were spent in conversation and reflection together despite the language barrier. The team took part in door-to-door -door evangelism and visitation. Many Peruvian children were reached by the efforts of the team, and the hearts of the team members were touched by the Peruvian children. And of course, the mission had to include some good, hard physical labor. It's nice to think of the Worldwide Moravian Church as a great big choir where we join together with different voices but praising the same God. That sort of harmonious diversity is our goal in the partnership we have with the Moravian Church in Peru. We grow together, spend time together as members of the body of Christ, and meet together to seek to be good stewards and administrators of the mission that God has given all of us. The first two pastors to be commissioned as Moravian leaders in Peru were Brother Manuel and Brother Walter. Manuel and Carming serve in Lima, and Walter and Monica serve in Chiclayo. The church is seeking to have an impact in the community beyond the church itself. In 2013, the Moravian Church in Peru and the Lions Club partnered to sponsor a health fair. Moravians in North America donated medicines and necessary medical equipment and supplies. The health fair lasted two days, and more than 500 people were given medical attention. It was a wonderful opportunity to share messages of hope as well as information about the Moravian Church. Another team from Kernersville visited Chiclayo in 2014. They gathered for worship in house churches since the church did not have any church buildings, and they went out from those houses, out into the streets of Chiclayo with the message of God's love. They did Bible story presentations with the children of Chiclayo. They played together and had fun together, and just enjoyed being together and learning from each other as brothers and sisters. At the end of the week, they put on an outdoor presentation for their families and for the people in the community. And they shared their stories in church gatherings, as well as out on the street and in homes. It was a great week that was spent building relationships and reaching out to others. On behalf of the team, Pastor Lisa shared a gift with Pastor Walted and thanked him for all of the gifts that he and his congregation had shared with them. The theme of our story seems to be walking with our Peruvian brothers and sisters and building relationships, sharing the message with others, and accompanying each other as members of the family of God. There have been many new members and many who have professed their faith and have been baptized. In recent months, there have been baptisms in Lima and Chiclayo. The church is growing. A young man has felt the call to ministry and is preparing to join others in the leadership of the church. Remember, this story isn't just about a place, it's about people. It's about children who have been reached by the kindness of Moravians who have used their time and talent to sew pillowcase dresses. It's about faithful leaders who are working under the supervision of the northern province to spread the message of salvation. It's about Pastor Manuel, who serves a growing congregation in Lima along with his family. It's about Pastor Walter, who continues to serve faithfully in Cruz de la Esperanza with his wife Monica and their family. It's about Pastor Ana Maria, a widow who serves a Moravian congregation in an inner city section of Lima, along with her delightful children, Gabby and Carlitos. It's about Pastor Christopher and his wife Charito, who serve a congregation in Chiclayo, along with their very musical family. 
Their sons use their musical talents for God's glory, and along with other Moravians, they have formed the Remanente Band that also serves as a worship leadership team. But people need a place to gather and worship God. And now these people have a good problem. They have outgrown the places where they were gathering in people's homes. So with the help of Moravians in other places, they are renting and fixing up space that can be used for worship services and other gatherings. And the church continues to grow. Children have a safe and secure place where they can learn about God. And that's what this story is all about, people finding their place in God's family, people gathering to worship together and have fellowship together as brothers and sisters in Christ, people walking with each other and offering their mutual care and support to each other along the way, people reaching other people so that the message will continue to be shared and the church will continue to grow. So before we say adios, let's think about how we can find our place in this story, how we can walk together with people in another place.